I'm here at Mobile World Congress 2024 with Honor looking at this car that you can drive with your eyes. If that sounds crazy, it's not. You're looking at a phone and the phone is doing eye tracking movements. And as you stare at controls for the car, you can turn the car on, turn it off, or even move it forward or backward 10 meters. It's a way of showing some AI technology built into the Magic 6 Pro from Honor that is working on all this eye tracking technology. First thing you need to do is you need to calibrate the phone so that it knows where your eyes are and how your eye movement works. So you set that up, it only takes about a few seconds to do. And then once you're set up, you can look at each button and you stay looking at it for maybe two or three seconds. And that's all it takes to activate it. So you can see here that I'm looking at the button for about three seconds and that turns the car on. And then I can just repeat that for each button and control the car's movements that way. We did have a problem with my glasses. I had to take my glasses off, but it didn't seem like uh, that was a major problem. I could still control some of the buttons, just for some reason the button to make the car go forward wasn't working well. But as soon as it took off my glasses, it worked fine. These are obviously kinks that Honor is trying to work out. Uh, we were explained that a lot of the eye tracking movement stuff that's been built into the phone so far is all based on the Asian population. And that's why Honor is doing a lot more testing before it rolls out in the wider global audience because they want to get more testing from other eyes from around the world. So obviously this is not quite ready to roll out to the global audience yet, but Honor is working on it. As with any technology like this, the more times you use it, the better it gets. And that's thanks to the AI inside the phone. Because you can keep doing these types of movements and it can keep tracking all of your eye movements and then it can get better at making sure that the next time you look at the phone to control something, it's better than the last time. If you're concerned about privacy, the way Honor explained it to us, it sounds a lot like the way that you set up for your fingerprint sensor on your phone. In other words, the eye tracking data that it's getting is only staying on the device itself and not going off in the cloud somewhere. So you don't have to worry about that kind of security breach. Also, it's only using the 3D sensor on the front of the phone to track your eye movements, not the camera. So it really can't get a full image of your eyes anyway. So you don't really have to worry about the security implications here. If you wanna give this a shot, this is coming to the Magic 6 Pro exclusively. In fact, it's already available on the Magic 6 Pro in China. But as I mentioned earlier, they wanna do a lot more testing on a lot more eyes before they roll it out globally. But eventually it will come to the Magic 6 Pro and maybe to the Magic 5 Pro. The Magic 5 Pro also has a 3D sensor, so it technically could do this, but we just don't know if that's coming or when. But for sure, the Magic 6 Pro, which launched here at Mobile World Congress, is going to get this technology at some point soon. So if you wanna try this out and start your car with your eyes, you can do that on the Magic 6 Pro as soon as it's available in your area.